got the work trailer home this weekend. Doing some little upgrades to it. I just mounted a 135 or 125 watt panel to the roof. And so you went through the vent. I'm gonna put this along the roof down into the system. Still gonna keep this uh, just for backup. But I got a 10 amp MPPT I'm hooking to the system. So it'll be standalone, it'll always be charged if we need it. We actually use it uh, quite often because I use a stand up electric uh, heater. Uh, not heater, sorry, electric uh, compressor. And it that thing takes a lot of power. Usually the poles that we're provided with barely run that, so we're unable to run a skill saw. So what I end up doing is I run the skill saw off this system with this trickle charging it. So uh, it's able to run the compressor and that uh, charger at the same time. So I just use the bu batteries as a buffer and I cut off the inverter. I've done this for weeks on end already. Works great. This is a good inverter. It's from 2007. It's an Antrax X Power 3000. Works pretty good. Uh, I need to beef the input wires, I've noticed. But uh, other than that, it works really good. And now I'm going to add a little uh, solar system to it. Should get about in peak maybe 10 amps or less, but we'll see. All right, so now I have the wires of the solar panel running into this thinner wire. This thinner wire is still 14 gauge. It can handle the amperage that this 125 watt panel can put out, which is only like I don't know. So it was something like uh, five or six amps. And that I'm gonna string along actually this way first along this little uh, aluminum, uh, almost like a roof truss. And uh, then that goes down to here, behind this pouch, I'm gonna move that, and the charge controller's gonna be here somewhere. The monitor will probably be a little bit higher so I can see it. This is it. I'm using this for now. I kinda wanna repurpose this for my LiPo ammo box, and have it integrated into it. The charge controller and a bunch of stuff, but anyways, that's uh, in the future. Um, yeah, I'll keep updating you guys. All right, so my solar install is complete. These are just extension cords. I got them everywhere. Just my multimeter. It's got a little light over here. Looks like something. Someone bumped it. Yep, definitely bumped it. Kind of wrecked it. I have to fix that after. Um, it's cloudy. We have a big cloud over us right now. Only producing 125 watt panels, only producing 13 watts. So 1.1 amps now. Little charge control is right there. Got it coming down, spliced in. Washer holding it. Screwing washer holding it there. Coming down behind. Going in. Uh, the end of the charge controller has alligator clips on it. Then I can uh, easily remove it and whatnot. I like having them. Uh, looks like we're producing two amps now. It's getting a little sunnier. Still not sunny, but uh, we'll see what we're producing in full sun. The panel is flat. It is not facing the sun at all. But uh, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hit the like button helps a lot, guys. Great, sun came out. Producing 6.7 amps. Immediately the batteries went way up in voltage. Let's see how, what the actual voltage of the batteries are. 14-ish. And, yeah. That's awesome. 6 amps going into the batteries. The batteries are already in float. So it is reducing the current going into the batteries. Got it sunny. It's not, I wouldn't say fully sunny, but it's pretty full. Already do some power, so let's turn this light on. If it works. Oh, there we go, it works. Okay. Still not taking enough power. We're at 14 volts. 
5.2 amps. Batteries are still in float, which is awesome. So it works great. This green light only comes on when the batteries are charged. This is a backup charger that I use. Um, but yeah, looks like we got a. It looks like the cloud just came by. Yep, it did. Got a little cloudy again. Dropped down to. Well, it, it kicked right out there for a sec. Dropped down to zero. Now, when will it kick back on? There we go. Producing some power again. And that is with the light running. Anyways, this is my, I believe this is 410 amp hours. If I remember correctly, this is 135, 135, 135, maybe 405. I think it's 405. Uh, yeah, so this is my 10 amp MPPT. I've seen that surge well over 10 amps, about 15 amps. That was with a 250 watt panel facing straight up. This is 125 watts, so I should never have any problems. And yeah, this is for work. You'd be surprised what a 125 watt panel will produce when you're using intermittent power for like cutting with a saw or even with a compressor that turns on intermittently. You can you can run a lot off 125 watts or 200 watts or whatever single panel you got. Anyways, thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed the video.